Hello friends, I welcome you all to my today's class. In today's class, we are going to discuss about power system harmonic elimination methods. Let's move on to the next slide. So the main objective of today's class is to eliminate the harmonic that is present in the power system. We are going to discuss about the methods of elimination of harmonics. The main effect of harmonic present in the power system is the damage to the equipment load that is connected to the power system. And the most simple way of eliminating harmonic is by installing a filter in the power system. The filter is of two types, mainly series and shunt connected filter. This type is based on the connection in which the filter is connected to the power system. So, in detail we are going to see about the filter and a working of the active power filter. First, we are going to discuss about the series connected filter. The name series itself denotes that the filter is connected in series connection with the power system. This kind of filter offer high impedance at tuning frequency, thus reducing the harmonics. It is capable of compensating the harmonic present in the system and it allows only a less amount of harmonics to be passed to the power system. However, the major drawback of the series connected filter is its cost. It is very high cost compared to that of shunt connected filter and it is capable of compensating only lower order harmonics because the number of series connected filter required will be very high for higher order harmonics. These are the major drawback of the series connected filter. Shunt connected filter are one of the most common type of filters used in the AC transmission system. These filters are always connected in shunt or in parallel to the power system. The main advantage of shunt connected filter is it is capable of compensating higher order harmonics and it is much cheaper compared to that of series type of filters. Now let us discuss about the passive and active filters. The active power filter is one of the most commonly used filter for harmonic compensation in industries. It is capable to mitigate the harmonic present in the system by injecting a active power with a reverse phase so that it cancels off the harmonic component that is already present in the system due to the nonlinear loads connected. Whereas the passive filter uses combination of resistor, inductor and capacitor and it does not involve any active components such as transistors but it cannot capable of giving a dynamic compensation of harmonics. So most commonly active filters are used nowadays for harmonic compensation. This is the general block diagram of active power filter. We can see here generating system that is present here that is electrical system. This generates the power which is given to the system or the grid. And the major source of harmonics in the system is the nonlinear load. This nonlinear load causes harmonics in the grid. So we need to compensate the harmonics that is caused by the nonlinear load. For this purpose, we are getting the current reference from the load side. Then it is given to a current control. 
most commonly we are using a PWM control or a hysteresis current control for this type. So this current control unit gives the pulse that is required for the shunt active power filter so that the shunt active power filter feedbacks the filter current to the point of common coupling. So this filter current or IF that compensates the harmonic that is present in the grid and makes the harmonic levels in the grid system under control so that a perfect sinusoidal wave with a maximum power quality is present in the system with at most zero harmonics in the system. So this is the working principle of your shunt active power filter and it is most commonly used in the industries which is involving a number of nonlinear loads. So in today's class we have discussed a lot about uh, methods of eliminating harmonics present in the power system using filters and what are the different types of filters and most commonly used filter type in the industries. We also discussed about the working of a shunt active power filter. In my next video, I have planned to discuss about power quality issues related to wind energy conversion system. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel to get update on my new technical videos. I will see you on the, my next video. Have a nice day and be blessed.